Welcome back, dragon folk, to another episode of Graveling the Wasteland. Um, what I need to do now, after we just completed the quest, uh, some, some little side quest stuff, uh, I need to talk to our resident sniper up here. You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit, and your eyes are good. Depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Why don't you go check it out? Got my post. Don't think I wouldn't go too. If troubles hit Nipton, town's got enough camping spots to rack up some easy kills. Not about to have Jackson bust my ass again, though. Even if I came back with Caesar's head, I'd rather be sitting here than in a cell. I'll do it. All right. Look at you. All fired up and ready to go. Wish the others around here had that kind of attitude. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? Got it. Uh, anything you can tell me about the outpost? Not much to tell. One of the worst posts in the NCR if you're looking to be anything more than a babysitter. Full up here, but just enough so we can't send out patrols. Gotta maintain a standing force. Jackson's orders. NCR's orders. Can't spare men for patrols or escorts, so caravans are backing up here like a Brahmin with a bottle in its ass. Mm, typical NCR bullshit. Uh, hear news from the West? Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan families are causing trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, you want gossip? Go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch, then fill out the daily log. Mind yourself. Okay. Um, so in the last episode, we actually got... We got a uh, service rifle, which looks really good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I'm going to see about repairing this. And then uh, once that's been repaired... Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates it. Uh, anything you do to help? I suppose you could talk to Ghost. I already did it. What kind of trouble? Not exactly sure. Radio's been on the fritz, and since I haven't heard it, any... been doing a lot of good work out. There. Thanks. Need repairs. Oh, oh, that was a lot of caps. Whoa. Sir. I didn't even think. I just I just pressed a button and boom. Caps. Is there somebody who sells me ammo for this? What ammo does this take? 5.56 millimeter. 5.56 millimeter. Background? Not. Oh, I'll take some of these though. Hey, okay. is there a bed I can sleep in? Maybe that would be in the barracks, huh? I'm just sleeping for an hour. Good call here. Sleep in that bed. Perfect. I gotta get something that stops me from getting so many broken limbs. Because I feel like it's almost all the time I get some kind of broken limb. Um, alright. We need to go... To nip it. Okay. 
Look at this little cow. Brahmin. Nasty Brahmin. Nasty. Hey there. Need anything? Well, you know what? I might actually. You have bullets for me? No? Hmm. 20 gauge rounds, 20 gauge slugs. Hmm. See, this is like buying these cards. I don't even know if I should be buying them, but. Hmm. I'm getting the cards anyway, just in case I need them. You don't have anything else. So. so this has got a total of tw like 27 bullets in it. So maybe we'll save it for not middle of this place. Ooh. Apologies. This, uh... Ooh. A lot. All right. So now we have to go down to Nipton. And we have to go see whether or not that's the case. I'd like to hope, I'd hope that we get there. And if we can clear the place out, great. If we can't clear the place out, then at least we can come back and get some kind of, some kind of weapon. Uh, preferably a sniper of some kind. Because I'd like to just get, that's kind of the method I like to take in these games. So I like to take the, the stay back, stay hidden, and just snipe method. Because, I mean, like, it's so easy. Like, not not even just a sense of ease. Like, that's how I would genuinely, like, take, like, take out people. And as long as my gun damage is good, then I'm good. So that's nipped in. Hello there. It's good to see uh, a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Oh? Why are you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Where can I find more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus who does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. You mentioned someone named Festus? Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, huh. and they weren't the lying type either. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Oh, what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something hmm. of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks soon, Phil, but I'll be going. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. This man runs up on me in the middle of the desert. It says, hey, you might have some bottle caps that some people in the wild are probably just going to up and try to kill you. What? And dude, the apocalypse sucks. 
God, I can't even collect bottle caps at a time like this. But that'd be a fun little thing to do. That's a fun little side project. Let's collect the caps. Find Festus. But I guess you can find them all over the place, so... I don't work grant. I don't need any of that. These are people over here? Nipton Road Pit Stop. Uh-oh. Wow, um... Uh, what is happening? <laughs> wow. Um... We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Okay. Yeah, maybe we do need to use this starting off. Okay. Well, I hate to be the guy to run all the way the hell back here, but... I mean, I might have to talk to that guy again. I'm gonna see if he runs up on me. Man, they did not care. I could go around that, I guess. That's a lot of people. How do I... Can I equip the dynamite I have? Did I sell it all? No, I mean, I'm not good enough. This is gonna do some damage for sure. This DPS is 56. Damage per second is 56. So I'm going to get right out towards this area. And somebody's going to run up on me. I swore there was a way to run, though. Like, normally there is, but not in this situation, I guess. I know they're just going to have it spawn. And have the guy spawn somewhere nearby. Yep. Hello there. Okay, go through all this. Cool, thanks for that. Okay, now before we get to this place, we'll save. Because obviously that place is full of people who will just kill me. Those explosions do so much damage, and it's like... I guess there's the Jackal Gang, that's who those people are. Oh, rats. That thing's coming for me. Why is this thing coming for? Maybe it's not. Okay. Save the game. It says I'm in danger. But how? again.
I am not healing very well. I have like more health than I expected myself to have. Was that it? There's no way there's more people back around this way. Can heal again. I mean, of course, they weren't going to hit, right? a lot of damage. Poison gland, which means I can get that soup now. Is this the leader? Looks like what would be the leader. I did kill the leader over here, right? There she is. Ah. Uh. No ammo for that. Um. You know what? The machine burst into flames. If you like news, you're gonna love our next segment. Steady? Weapon spread reduced? Okay. Um. The ruling gang known as the Kings and the large number of NCR squatters seeking refuge there. The leader of the Kings, who would only identify himself as the King, voiced his displeasure calling NCR citizens, quote, the devil in disguise. He asked me. Hey, that's good. You're dead. You're... Bottle caps. Case. Brute. I don't need a grunt outfit. Okay, so I killed all these guys. That's great. Frag mines. You dig us, baby. We're the tops. Ladies and gentlemen, this next saw goes out. Hey, but some me, you. What is happening? What is happening? Are there are people out there just shooting. Okay. Y'all firing at? Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Any idea why? No, none at all. 
We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. And she's been friendly this whole time. Well, we'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. A yeah, necklace. every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue oh. star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. Be more careful in the future, okay? I will. That's the last... Speech of 50. Do I have anything in here to up my speech by 20 points? So I can just take a few off of her, I guess. So that guy's got a bunch of them. I wonder where he's going to be located. I wonder if he's going to go back to that place. Oh, no, Thomas, don't worry about it. I'm not going for you. All right. So this place is kind of messed up right now. So we've arrived at Nipton. All right, so uh, that's going to be it for today's episode. So thank you all so much for uh, for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to go ahead and like the video and also subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, I'll be able to bring you more of this fantastic content um, as we go, right? More fun stuff. But uh, we're going to take a trip into Nipton uh, now and then see, uh, see what we've got for us here. So... Thank you guys so much. Please make sure to uh, drink some water and get yourself a snack. I'll catch you guys during the next episode. All right, guys. Nerd out.